are underway from Champion Stadium. These two teams both looking to build off points in their previous matches. And right away, Kavon Freider in on goal. Lion gets there, and Freider unable to put it on frame, and it will be a goal kick. So Left back is one of the top scorers in your team. He's obviously a very valuable asset. Good ball sent in. Freider is there, but the header just going wide. And control possession of things. So it's going to be interesting to see what they choose to do going forward in the second half of this game. Pineda going for the curler, and that was just a few feet wide. Yeah. Solid move there for number six. Pineda was unable to hold the ball up. As Navarro gets there, another opportunity for Freider to bring it down. Here's a shot from Vercolone. Oh, what a stupendous strike from Luke Vercolone. Freider set him up perfectly, and number four made no doubt about it. The visitors are up 1-0 here in Irvine. And that's a beautiful strike from Vercolone. Exactly what we were talking about. The chance that they missed in the first 30 seconds of the game is now forgotten about with that finish. What a finish. Luke Vercoloni absolutely stunning the crowd here at Champion Stadium. And we'll take another look as to why that is. That's a fantastic layoff from Freighter there. A little bit of deception and that's a beautiful first time strike. Certainly a goal of the week nominee. Only on Tuesday. Now Malcolm looking to replicate it. Oh, oh my <laughs> word. Shane Malcolm. Eat your heart out, Luke Vercoloni. It's 2-0 to Colorado Springs. What a strike. And we've probably seen two contenders for goal of the season in those two volleys that we've seen from Colorado Springs in this first 20 minutes. What a goal. It is an absolute long-range clinic here from Colorado Springs. And the technique they use there is unbelievable. He struck that with the outside of his right foot. Before the halftime whistle, Shane Malcolm, still Malcolm, towards the byline. Malcolm towards the middle. It's towards the back post, and it's sent in. Masta Cashier makes it three. Do your dance, young man. Colorado Springs all over Orange County in the first half. 3-0 to the visitors. And I, I don't know, that's a fantastic cross, a fantastic finish, but how do you describe the Orange County in defending there? That's absolutely terrible. You've seen the defender go to ground. You thought that, you thought he could almost gone down and got a penalty kick. He stays on his feet. See him here, goes past him. Defender goes to ground. He stays on his feet. Thinks the ball to the back post. And the attacker's in that much space. You almost think that the referee's blown the whistle and stopped play. He's in the back post. There's not an Orange County defender anywhere near him. Just picks his spot, hits the target. 3-0, Colorado Springs. Apollo goes out wide for Stavanovic. Orange County on the move here. Stavanovic whips it in. It's a very good ball. Fernandez with oh. the shot. Pilati with a superb save. And it will be a corner for Orange County. Probably the best move of the match we've seen from them so far. And that's great play all around from Orange County. A fantastic ball into the box. Out his feet, whips it around the defender. A beautiful header, destined for the top corner, and a fantastic save. Segeda clips it in. Fernandez bringing it down. McFarland, Fernandez over Fred Avike. Van Avike going for goal, and Puati parries it away. Another save from the big number one for Colorado Springs, who continues to keep the clean sheet rolling. Just the longer it continues, Colorado going to get more comfortable and. And here's Freighter. Freighter makes it four. It was only a matter of time before number 11 would get his tally for the night. And now he has it. And Colorado Springs surely have all three points now. It's 4-0 to Steve Trichu's side. And really the story of the game, Orange County has been terrible defending. We're just speaking about how they needed a goal to get back into this game. And again, defender with a terrible clearance. Right into Freighter, rebounds him, he's through on goal. Slots it calmly into the bottom corner. But McFarlane was great with a defensive header in that situation. There's been a, a stalwart at the back there for Colorado Springs tonight. Well, that's going to do it from Champion Stadium for the final time for Orange County in a game they'll certainly want to forget as Colorado Springs come away with their third win in as many matches. A 4-0 win for Steve Trichu's side. Chris Nurse, your thoughts?